What's up, UFC fans? UFC on FX number six is going to be interesting. It's George Hadaropoulos taking on Ross Pearson. And one thing we know about Ross Pearson is that he had that DUI. Anyway, this fight culminates the Ultimate Fighter Australia. And for anybody who's been watching that, it's pretty much over. And the two coaches are going to fight. So George is 14-4. and four, And he's was supposed to be the top Australian out there uh, back when he beat Joe Stevenson. And he was a big underdog in that fight. I actually made money on that fight. Anyway, he beat Kurt Pellegrino, and people were riding him really high. Uh, also beat Joe Lausanne after that. But at UFC 127, he got derailed uh, in a unanimous decision against Dennis Eber. And he really got beaten badly standing up. But he did have a lot of heart, and... You know, he got to bounce back versus uh, Rafael Dos Anjos, or Anjos, excuse me. Anyway, he fought Rafael Dos Anjos, and he got knocked out in like a minute or 59 seconds at UFC 132 when Cruz fought Faber. So, I don't know why they picked him to be the coach, but I guess they don't have enough Australian big names. So, you know, weak move, but uh, I guess they had to do it. Anyway, he's taking on Ross Pearson, who had a DUI. I think he was cruising around Vegas drunk or something. Correct me if I'm wrong, brother, but uh, that's what I heard a few months ago. And uh, Ross, the real deal, Pearson, just came off a loss against Cub Swanson, where he was knocked out by punches. I guess he dropped down in weight, and uh, Cub is fast, and uh, gave him a cross and just knocked him out. Eve Levine stopped the fight. Um, but... You know, both these guys are really good, and uh, George has got that ground game. Ross, is, you know, just wants to stand and bang. Uh, you know, Cole Miller submitted Ross Pearson. I remember that fight, and uh, he lost to Edson Barbosa. Good thing he didn't get wheel kicked in the head. But, uh, you know, I don't think Ross is nearly as good as George. Uh, George hung in there with uh, Dennis Eva for three rounds, and took a, a bunch of punches and uh, kicks and really, you know, I think he could take Ross Pearson and if he gets a chance to go to the ground, I think, you know, he, he could he could take it there. Um, Ross has been submitted, you know, before. He was submitted by Cole Miller and uh, he's been knocked out by Cub Swanson. So, I think George could take it. Uh, Ross could win a split decision. But then again, George could submit him, or, or, or George could win a split decision. So, I haven't looked at the betting odds on this one yet, because I'm, I'm not betting on this fight. But I'm sure George is the favorite, right, guys? George has got to be the favorite. And uh, I would put my money on George if I was betting. I, I, I don't see Ross really knocking him out. He just came off a knockout loss uh, by Dos Anjos, where he probably thought Dos Anjos wanted to go to the ground. And uh, he didn't get it. He got whacked. So I can't see him getting whacked again on this fight. Let me know what you think, guys. Do you think uh, George Sadaropoulos is going to get whacked? Or do you think that he, he's going to submit Pearson? Or, you know, who do you think would win the split decision? Uh, you know, I don't think this would be an unanimous decision. Anyway, guys, let me know. And uh, let me know if this is a five-rounder. Because I don't know that either. So... Guess I don't know much, but I think George Hadaropoulos is going to win. 